Hi, I'm Ms. Wong. Today we're going to use the CAS to work out circular functions types of questions. Example 1. Solve the equation x over 3 equals sine x, giving your answer correct to three decimal places. So let's take out our CAS. Now what do we do? We can go to graph or we can go to main. Let's try graph first. So for graph, we have to use the following buttons. So let's go to uh, graph. Let's type in our first equation, which is pi on, I'm sorry, x over three, so divided by three, enter. And our other equation is sine x. So go to keyboard, then trig, sine, and make sure that we are in real and imaginary and we are in degree that's sorry we're in radians there you go click enter and now we go to graph by pressing that button we can see that the intercepts happen there so we need to find uh, the intersects intersections so we go to analysis g solve and intersection and we can see that we have x and y values and we can click on right to give us the other intersections so there's 0 0 there's negative 2.27 and 0.75 and there is when you click to the right again 2.27 and 0 0.75 okay let's try using main this time and we have to use action advanced solve so let's go to our calculator. We can click on main or you can click on down here. So in main, we go action, advance, and solve. And we type in our two equations. So x over three, sorry, our one equation equals sine. To get sine, you go to keyboard, trig, sine, x, and enter. And it will tell you that there could be more solutions. Say so, okay. And now we have the solutions. To read them, just click right and left. So same values as before. Let me put the cas away for a second. Okay, example number two. Find a suitable trigonometric rule on the form of, well, it's a sine equation with the following value. So how do we do that? We're going to use statistics this time and we're going to put the values in list one and list two. So the x value is in list one, the y value is in list two, and we're going to use the following buttons. And we're going to get that equation. So let's have a look. I'm going to put the cast back on. I'm just going to disappear for a second because I don't think there's enough space for me and that. Okay, so let's go to, what does it say? Let's go to statistics. So in menu, go to stats. And in list one, we put in all our x values. So zero, enter, then we have pi on four. And pi is in keyboard over here in math one. There you go, pi over four, enter. Then we have pi on two, pi over two. And then three pi on four, three pi on four and lastly our last x value is pi enter don't forget to click enter in list two we're going to put all our um, y values so we have 0 0.7 0 0.29 negative 2.14 1.71 and negative 1.3 enter then we're going to go to calc up here then we're going to click on regression that's going to help us calculate the equation and we want sine so we look for sine there it is and we're okay with all of this copy formula to y1 and we do that because it's going to remember the equation as y1 so we can use it to graph if we wanted to Okay, and now we have our 
A, B, C, and D values. So A is 2.09, B is 2.0999, so that's 3. C is 0.498, or in other words, 0.5. D is 0 0.3. So we plug in these values in our calculator into that equation over there. And it's the same as that equation there. Example 3, fit a sign curve to the point, da -da -da -da. so it's the same thing again, I'm going to erase you, so keep watching, keep it, and then see if you can remember what to do from before, so I'm just going to move my CAS so I can fit it in there, and I'm going to try and do the same thing again, so the steps are going to be the same as before, so let's try that. So in this one, uh, let's go and clear all. Okay. So in this one now we have our x values 1, 2, 3, 4, oops, 4, and 6. In this 2 we have 2.08, 3.08. Point four nine negative one point seven seven and negative point nine six enter and then again do you remember what to do so you go to calc regression and we're looking at sign again and copy formula to one press OK and then it has your A, B, C, D values to plug into there. So you can plug. So it has your A, B, C, D values in there. So you can write down your equation using those values. Thank you for watching and practice using your CAS. Try to do the questions without the instructions over there and see if you can do them by memory so you know that you remember where the buttons are. You might want to try this one week from today again so that you know you actually remember it. Okay, I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you.